What is going on guys, it's Argon657 here. Today I bring you another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle against someone by the name of Pokemon Master88 on Discord. Um, we are doing an RU match, um, as you can tell. Uh, um, taking a look at the team, he has a pretty threatening team, especially with uh, Floatzel and Politoe combined. Because he can easily sweep my entire team if Venusaur goes down. So, um, I do have Spec Swallow. Um, a lot of people are using Spec Swallow, and it's getting pretty common now that uh, Spec Swallow is uh, being used in battle. So, so I wanted to try it out myself, though. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to lead off with my Spec Swallow, and he's actually going to lead off with his um, Persian. Um, However, I know he's going to switch out though, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn, um, expecting him to switch because it's very obvious he's going to switch out. So his Persian's going to withdraw, and Grumpig's actually going to come out here, and I'm kind of surprised he went into Grumpig on a U-turn, because U-turn's actually going to do a considerable amount though. Uh, it does around like 40%, so um, I'm going to go into my Golem over here. Um, just to try to, uh, you know, try to get up the rock polish and everything. Because with the rock polish, I should be able to outspeed everything on this team. Um, but he's going to go into his seismic type, which is pretty good for him because now he can go for the scald and everything, and also set up the stuff box. So I'm going to switch out into my um, Venusaur in case he wants to go for a scald right off the bat, which he does. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty good. So now, um, I do get the burn, but that's okay because I can just go for the Giga Drain, and it's a special uh, Venusaur, so it's not a physical one, so it's pretty good. Uh, the only thing is just residual damage, and that's not a big issue. So he's now going to go to his Rotom, and I'm going to go for the Giga Drain over here, see how much it does. It actually does a considerable amount. Uh, uh, Rotom doesn't really have the best defenses, but, uh, seeing the leftovers over here, um, uh, he's very likely more of a defensive spread. Um, so, I'm gonna, um, switch out over here, because I don't want to take an overheat. So, um, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into my Golem over here, expecting the overheat, but he's probably gonna go for the bulb switch, predicting me to switch out. So, that's fine, too. So, Old Twitch is going to come my way, and he's probably going to go back into his side from Toad over here. But he's actually going to go into his Grumpig. Probably trying to sack it off, I'm not sure why he went into Grumpig over here. Maybe he thought he would outspeed, because I'm going to go for the return, and I'm going to be able to take him out from uh, that range. So, he probably wanted to sack off his um, Grumpig. Just so we could get a safe switch on um, Seismitoad, even though he could have went to Seismitoad directly and not sacked off his um, uh, Grumpig, but I'm just going to stay in and go for the Earthquake in case he wants to go for the Stomp Rocks or anything like that. And I'm going to see what he wants to do. He ends up revealing the Knockoff, which is pretty interesting, just to get rid of like leftovers or like, violence. Stuff like that, so it's pretty interesting to have knocked off on the size toe. So, he's probably more of a bulkier size toe, uh, bulkier spread, but he's gonna reveal the citrus barrier over here. Um, yeah, so he's probably maybe a semi offensive, um, uh, size toe with stealth rocks and everything. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go for the earthquake again. Because uh, I want to get as much damage on the side of the as possible. Um, which is good. I bring him down to half HP. So he's going to reveal the earthquake as well. So he's more of a physical um, side of the with skull and everything. So that's fine. Golem goes down. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to go into my um, uh, Torkoal over here just to get rid of the entry hazards. I could probably take one Earthquake. Uh, I don't can't really kill my uh, Torkoal with one hit, so I'm just going to take this opportunity to go for the Rapid Spin. And I know he's going to probably want to switch, though. 
Um, he's gonna want to go to his Polito to get rid of the Sun. So I'm just gonna take this chance, go for the Rapid Spin. And uh, at this point, I'm not sure what kind of Polito this is. Cause, um, yeah, because I don't see any leftovers. Uh, so he's probably maybe a uh, damp rock or something like that, but I'm gonna go into my Venusaur anyway just to get the Giga Drain off. And he's gonna reveal the Psychic, uh, which was actually a pretty good play on his part for getting me going my Venusaur and revealing the Psychic. I didn't see the Psychic coming at all. I thought he maybe wanted to go for an Ice Beam or something, but it's probably too obvious that so he wanted to go for the Psychic instead. So now he's gonna go to his Rotom over here and uh, take the Giga Drain with no problem. But I get a um, critical hit, so that's pretty good. Um, I do get a decent amount of health back, but Life Orb is kind of uh, negating the amount of uh, HP I'm getting back technically, as well as the um, uh, burn damage, so it's not looking too good, but I'm going to stay in and go for the Sledge Bomb, because I want to see if I can take out this Rotom, and I actually do with a critical hit, so that's pretty good. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. That crit might have mattered, though, because he probably would have survived, and he would have actually taken me out with the, the Twitch or Thunderbolt. So now I'm just going to go to his um, Floatzel over here, and um, I'm going to switch out just to save the Death Rider later. So now I'm going to go into my Tour Gold to get the um, Sun uh, over here and uh, take the Waterfall. So he's going to go for the Waterfall as expected and I do take that very well with the Sun. Uh, it's going to reduce its power so pretty good. Um, but I'll be able to set up my Stealth Rocks over here. So he's going to go into his Polytoad and get the Raid back up. Which is okay, I'm fine with that. Um, what I should have done was gone for the Toxic instead of the Stealth Rocks. Just because Polytoad's kind of annoying and I don't want it to uh, keep getting free switches and everything. So I'm just going to go into my Venusaur as Death Fodder and at this point I don't really have anything to uh, take on his Gold Um so I'm going to have to play around a bit to play around his uh, Goto. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to take out Goto and keep the sun up as well. So um, I'm now going to go into my Torque and get the sun back up. And I know he's going to switch out though for sure. So um, I'm going to switch out as well. I'm going to go into my Charizard. He also might stay in as well, predicting me to switch out. As you can see, he's going to go for the top side. And um, I'm going to go for the Solar Beam over here because I know that Solar Beam is going to do a lot to any one of his mods. Um, I could have went for the uh, Inferno Overdrive, but um, I really wanted to see what he wanted to do. So uh, he's going to go to his Seismic Toad as Death Fodder over here, so he's going to sack off his Seismic Toad to my Charizard. And I have max speed on this Charizard, so I'll max speed the um, Seismic Toad for sure. So, um, it's kind of bad though that he sacked off his um, Seismic Toad because now he'll get a free switch and back in the Power Toad. And it's really not looking too good. So I'm going to have to uh, try to go back into my um, Torpo just to, uh, just to get the um, Sun up. So, he's now going to go to his Persian over here, and I'm going to switch out though because I want to save it for later. It's still pretty useful, so I'm going to go to my Swell over here just to uh, um, see what move he wants to go for. He's going to go for the Parting Shot, so now with the uh, special attack drop, the Boom Burst is not going to do too much because it's going to be technically at neutral because Choice Specs gives you plus one special attack. So, um... Yeah, so he's gonna go back into his power to set up the drizzle. And I'm gonna go for the U-turn over here just to uh, get some uh, damage and everything. Actually, no, I go for the boom burst. Because I want to see how much boom burst might do. It actually still does a considerable amount to power to So 
yeah, so the Psychic's actually going to be a 3 hit KO. And I want to go for the uh, Boom Boost again. And I do take him out. He's pretty good. But he's going to go for the Scald. And he is going to take me out. He probably should have went for the Scald in the first place. Maybe he thought I was going to switch. But I'm going to go into my Charizard over here. And I'm going to go for the Air Slash just to see if I can... Uh, take the, um, if I can take, uh, take out the Politoed, but he's gonna go to his, uh, Persian, and I am gonna go for the Air Slash now, um, yeah, I wasn't sure if he was gonna go for the Sucker Punch over here, so I actually decided to stay in over here to see what he wants to do, but he's actually gonna reveal the, uh, z -Roof. So now he's gonna go for the uh, Z Parting Shot. What Z Parting Shot does is that it works like heal Healing Wish, and it um, restores the opponent's health back to full of health. So it's gonna be bad because now he's gonna go to his Politoed, a perfect opportunity to get health back. So um, now that he's at full health, I'm gonna have a tougher time taking out this Politoed. So, I'm gonna go, uh, switch out over here because, um, I don't want to take the spawn. Actually, no, I go for the flamethrower just to take out the poison. But, the flamethrower's gonna do absolutely nothing in the rain. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into my Torkoal over here as Death Fodder. And I could force him to switch out in the, um... Persian as uh, Death Potter. And, yeah, and I could just, uh, you know, hopefully I take out the Politoed um, with my Charizard, but he's going to end up going for the Skull. So, um, he can take me out, no problem. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go into my Charizard and get the Sun up. Well, not, not the sun, it's already up, but uh, I'm going to go for the solar beam, because, um, yeah, he really doesn't have anything to take a solar beam, so, um, I'm going to go for it, take out the Persian, which is fine, and he's going to go back into his polytoad to get the rain back up, because he pretty much won the weather war, uh, he already got the rain, so, um, so yeah, so there's no point in keeping Charizard around, so, um, yeah, so he's gonna get rid of my Sun Weather, and he's gonna get his Rain back up, uh, just for floats of the sweep, so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually reveal my, uh, Z-Move, because I wanna use the Z-Move just for lulls. Because I know that the Zoom is not going to do too much to the Polyjord being. That Polyjord has massive special defense, plus the rain is up. So, uh, Polyjord actually has pretty good defense, though. Um, so I'm going to go for the Inferno Overdrive. Because I want to see how much it might do. So, uh, I know it's not going to do too much. As you can see, it does little to no damage. And he's going to take me out with the Skull. And, um, I think my only Pokemon left is my Slowbrook. So, um, I'm now gonna go to my last Pokemon, which is, uh, Slowbrook. And the only thing I need to do to prepare for the Floater is set up the Cotton Guard. So now I'm at plus three. I'll be able to take the Floater's incoming Waterfall, so he decides to switch to him. Or something like that. And he's gonna go for the Scald. Um, good thing I got the Citrus Berry over here, so I can pretty much, um, go for Calm Minds and all that. So, I'm just gonna set up Calm Minds. And what he should have done was actually go for the, um, Encore on the Cotton Guard. Um, he does reveal the, uh, Encore over here to lock me into Calm Minds. But the, uh, good news is that... Um, it's not going to do too much to my, uh, Soul Club after the couple Calm Minds we stalled. So I'm just going to be at plus two special attack. And the thing is, since I'm faster than him, when the, uh, Encore wears off, I'll be able to hit him hard with a, uh, Draining Kiss. So he's going to miss the Toxic, 
and uh, yeah, that kind of sucks for him because now I'm going to be able to set up another coal mine, even though I'm locked into it, but um, uh, technically uh, he won't be able to stall me out though. He finally hits the tactic, but I think it's one turn too late because I've already gotten up to plus three special attack, plus three special defense, and plus three defense, so uh, I'm not too concerned about it. So. Um, I'm gonna go for the Calm Mind again, uh, because I'm locked into it, because of on course, and now I'm at plus four. So, something faster, I can go for the Draining Kiss, I could do a considerable amount, and as you can see, the Skull does little to no damage at all. So, um, I'm now gonna go for the Draining Kiss, because the Encore ended. And, uh, I'm at plus four, so I should do a lot to power code. So, um, he does live that, which is kind of unfortunate, though. So, um, he's now gonna go for the Encore, Encore me into, uh, Granny Kiss. And, um, yeah, that kind of sucks for him, though, because now I can go for the Granny Kiss and take out the rest of his team. So, I'm gonna go for the Granny Kiss over here and take out the Politoad, and his last Pokemon is the Floatzel. Uh, Floatzel is actually a big problem. So, um, yeah, because he might be able to finish my Slurp up, but I'm gonna go for the Draining Kiss anyway. So, the rain does wear off, so that's pretty good. So I'll be able to outspeed the Floatzel, and I'll be able to go for the Draining Kiss. Uh, just to uh, get some health back as well taken out. So I do take out the Floatzer, and that is pretty much good game. The uh, Slurp Buff pulled it through. Uh, it brought me back. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so Slurp Buff did pretty good. Uh, it did some work. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good battle. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, just make sure you leave a comment below, click the like button, and if you guys enjoy watching my video content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And, yeah, I will see you guys later.